you know, sometimes I don't even feel qualified to be a life coach. I mean, I, I feel like a fake every time I hand out my business card. I mean, how do, how do I look helping someone else when I, I can't even pay my bills? You know, wait, I don't know, maybe I need to be more consistent with the abundance exercises. Excuse me. Hello? Hey girl, what you doing? Talking to my therapist. You have problems. Hello, that's why I'm talking to my therapist. Your therapist is a stuffed animal. My therapist is free. Anyways, are you still coming with me to the baby shower tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, pick you up at 12.30? Okay. Okay. Bye, crazy. Same to you. <laughs> oh no, oh I gotta go. Oh, hi, you're from May 18th, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, come on in. Thank you. So, you can start in here. She wants you to dust and clean the floors and do the bathroom. She? Oh, the lady who lives here. I'm just her assistant. Oh. So, okay. I'll let you get started. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. not believe whose condo I'm cleaning. Is it a celebrity? No, it's Vanessa Jones. Who's Vanessa Jones? Remember the one client I had last month? That was her. Oh my God, that must be so awkward. It will be if she comes home and finds me here. Her assistant let me in. Well, you better hurry up, throw some lights on the toilet and get out of there. I know. You know, I'm just gonna pack up everything and, and, and leave. I'm not even gonna finish. Good idea, call me when you get home. Okay, I will. cleaning my condo and wearing a maid's uniform. You see, Vanessa, you are always focused on the negative, but I can help you with that. Are you joking right now? I can't believe this. You pretended to be a life coach and you're a maid? No, I didn't pretend. I am a life coach. You gotta be kidding me. You can't actually believe that. You can't life coach anyone. You're a maid. Obviously, you're broke. Excuse me. But contrary to popular belief, domestic workers make a livable income. Well, full-time workers do, and, and I work part-time, so that, that doesn't apply to me. You're psycho, and you need to leave. Okay, now you're just being rude. Get out! I can't believe you tried to teach me about abundance. You, that's hilarious. You can't even create it for yourself. I can if I wanted to. I just haven't been consistent with the abundance exercises. I've been busy. You're a joke, and I want my money back, all of it. Uh, yeah. You know, I would, but I, I kind of already paid my rent with it. Oh my God, you're too broke to even give me a refund? I said I haven't been consistent with the abundance exercises. I mean, do you know how hard it is to meditate when you're broke? Get out. 
Just get out. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're not a life coach. You should be arrested for fraud. I can't believe I fell for half of that. Get out. And you know what? Your Spanish sucks. Is there any reason why we can't sit on the couch? I don't deserve to sit on the couch. I'm a fraud. No, you are not gonna take that woman's words and then make them true. But she's right. I can barely make things happen for myself. How, how can I even think about helping someone else? Pretend I'm one of your clients. And someone called me a fraud and now I'm thinking about giving up on my dreams. I don't wanna play this game. You don't have a choice. Now go. What would you say? Don't quit. Why? Because if this is truly your passion, then you're not a fraud. You were meant to do this. Uh, right now you're just in the beginning stages and you feel like a fraud because you don't know anything yet. But if you stick it out, your life can be an example of what's possible and you won't feel like a fraud anymore. Now that was beautiful. Then pay me, because my services Girl, are not free. No. Now can we sit on the couch? Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome.